Fly ball sent out towards deep right center field. Back goes Piscotti at the wall. That ball should be gone. It's above the wall. And Tatis will touch them all. What is up, YouTube? It is Baseball Nerd. We have a huge contract extension coming out of San Diego. Fernando Tatis Jr. just signed a 14-year contract extension with the San Diego Padres for $340 million. This is a huge extension. It's um third large, largest extension in baseball history, biggest deal for a pre-arbitration player ever. And that's the biggest thing I got to talk about getting into this. So let's get right into it. So Tatis's deal has a full no trade clause and a signing bonus upwards of $10 million. No money deferred in the deal, so it's just straight up. Tatis becomes the second MVP sports client to land a $300 million plus dollar deal, joining his third baseman, Manny Machado. That left side of the infield is making bank for themselves and MVP sports. Um, it's insane that he's only played 143 games over the last two seasons, less than a full season, and he's now one of the biggest contracts in baseball, 14 years, $340 million. The youngest guy, the only one pre-arbitration ever in his career to sign a contract like this. This is just insane. It's um, it's really insane to think about that. He just turned 22 in January, I believe January 2nd. I turned 23 in March. This dude's a year younger than me and just signed a $340 million deal. Going to be playing baseball in San Diego for the next 14 years. It is just insane, but he's been a baller of a player. He's been great on defense. You've seen all the, the crazy highlights of him stealing home, stealing second, all these crazy slides, and then you know what he does with the bat. He's slashed 301, 374, 582 with 39 bombs, 98 RBIs, 27 stolen bases, over 143 games. So if that's his first rookie of the year season, that's insane, and I definitely think he deserves a good contract. I don't know how well this will work out. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think he's going to be a beast for a long time coming. He plays a very premier um, position at shortstop. Like I said, he has all the tools, defense, the arm, the base running, the offense. The, he's got everything off the field. He's so cool. He's now the, the cover athlete for MLB The Show, all his little puppet things. I mean, he just he does everything. He's on, on the camera, off the camera, on the field, off the field, offense, defense. Not really much more you could want, so I don't think this will ever, ever hurt the Padres, but it is kind of early. We've never seen something like this before, so it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out the next 14 years. I mean, Mike Trout did this with his extension, but he was, I think, 27 when he signed his, his extension. That's a five-year difference, and so, you know, pretty, pretty big difference over a 14-year deal. But I'm super excited to watch the Padres now. You know they're going to have Machado and Tatis on that left side of the infield for a while. They got the pitching staff that they just acquired this offseason with Darvish, Schnell, Clevenger coming back next year. They have Paddock, Gore, so many, Danison Lamette, so many good pitchers, so many good players. Padres are locked and loaded for the next several years. Tatis got paid. He'll be in San Diego for a long time. Just really, really cool baseball news. Had to get this video out ASAP as soon as I heard of the signing. So, yes. See you guys tomorrow for the MLB The Show 21 Coach and Tatis Jr. video going over that. See you guys later. Peace.